So congratulations on the uh, on the times that you're doing in the in the individual pursuit and also yeah. the World Cup gold as well. Two gold. You've been waiting for one to come along and yeah. two have come along. <laughs> two at once. once. Yeah, no, it was it was great. So um, we we sort of knew before and that we had a good chance of uh, meddling and. Um, it was good that we could actually put it together. Um, did a quite fast time, which is another bonus. Um, shows a good progression as well, which is always good to see. Um, getting ready for Worlds now, so that'll be the next goal. The 4 12 that you did for the IP, Yeah. how does that compare with the times that you've done in training and other times that you've done? Um, to be honest, it's it's not really it's it's faster than obviously I'm, it's, it's a new PB, so it's I think it's about a second faster than I've ever gone before. But um, power wise, probably wasn't that much more. Um, it's good conditions, uh, so you know there's there is some progression there. But it's eking out those last little watts now. You know, I think it was, I think it, we did I think it's about eight watts off the world record. So you know I'm I'm close. Um, so you know, we'll just keep at it, and eventually, hopefully, we'll get there. If we get, if we have the right day and the right conditions, then could be could could go for it. So, at what point have you realised that you're, you know, you've got this talent? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I have, to be honest. <laughs> um, I just think um, a lot of people underestimate hard work and um, knowledge about the sport. So, I wouldn't say I'm talented. Um, and the TP, that's also a PB, 3.56. What was it like to go that quick? Uh, Harry was saying, I, all I can was the edge of the seat stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, it was. It was yeah, go, yeah, you do. Uh, there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of moments where it was really sketchy. And um, the first, I remember the first change we did the Medi method, you know, where Harry, Dan slips into man three and then uh, Harry changes and all I could hear behind me was this massive clatter. I was like, oh, it's game over. Johnny's have to go, Johnny's have to, go to the finish now. But uh, no, it was it was good because it all and it all come together in the end. Although it was really uh, sketchy. Maybe maybe next time if we are a bit more you know smoother, we might be able to go a bit faster. But, well, I have heard from uh, guys in the TP before though that when you start getting on that that limit, things can become a little. Yeah, bit no. Better. Yeah, no, it's true. And I mean, I was not, I was in no means fresh. Um, although they were saying I was rested. I <laughs> definitely wasn't rested. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I delivered my turn. Uh, it was okay. Uh, and yeah, we were all, you know, on the edge. Um, so it's, it's hard to uh, keep your composure when you, you're trying that hard. Um, but no, it, we, 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 were, we were, I wouldn't say lucky, but it come together, which is great. So. So what are the goals now? Everyone's talking and, and wondering. Because mm. you know, you're training yeah. with GB. Yeah, uh, now and again. Um, they've been great. They've uh, offered to support us to Worlds and then hopefully Commonwealth Games as well if we get selected. Um, so so the selections haven't been made yet. That's, no, that's no. That's what you're working towards? Yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's the main goal to get there. Um, get that stripey jumper. And so. is that in the IP only or, or also um, I mean, I think I think they're considering me. A few guys the TP nervous. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> apparently so. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't know. It's gonna be good if they do consider me. Um, my main my main goal is to win the IP. So. And what would that yeah. mean to you? I mean, this is sort of pretty surreal. And it's come on so quickly that you um, can't take it in. No, I, I completely didn't expect to be um, to be in consideration for selection for worlds. Yeah. Uh, last year, I was just thinking, you know, if I can try and go. 418 or something yeah. then I'll be happy <laughs> yeah. but then you just sort of you, you meet your goal and then you just sort of set another one and another and eventually you get in a situation where you're trying to beat the world record which is a bit surreal but um, no it's great it is great well tell us about how because I've, I've heard for a long many many years yeah. people have come up to me we might be in the northeast. have you heard of these guys <laughs> and because um, there's three of you all together uh, yeah yeah three. Me back at home still a junior yeah um, so how, who was the, who was the first? Um, the medals? Um, it's, well, it's just started with me and Harry. Really, we all yeah. just um, we just used to uh, ride around with our parents, you know, like a tourist sort of yeah. mess around sort of situation. And then um, my dad's quite competitive. Harry's competitive. I'm competitive. And um, we're like, well, might as well go to the local race league, give it a go. Yeah. And then it's all just took off from there, really. And um, yeah, League 2000 uh, started at um, South Bank go kind circuit and then move to Prisic Park. Yeah. It's great, they bring on loads of children who, you know, are just, you know, seeing what the sport's about and then uh, yeah, it's been 
it's been a, a gateway for a lot of riders into the sport, which is good. Um, and what about coaching? Have you needed to? Have you needed that side of things um, at that age, early on? No. I, it's when I was, pretty casually and just enjoying it, having fun. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. If you just enjoy what you're doing, then you know it's not at that age. It's not really about results or anything. It's about enjoying what you're doing. And um, when it when you become a junior or a senior or whatever, then it starts to become more important. And um, you still enjoy what you're doing, but it's you just have bigger goals. Um, I think a lot of kids at youth racing and stuff. I certainly made the mistake where they think it's you know it's the be all and end all. But in actual fact, you look back at it and. I'd say just enjoy it because, um, yeah, you can only the you can only do it stuff once. Is yet to come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because you were on the talent team at one point. Yeah, well, yeah, I was for um, a year and a bit, and then I did, I did a bit of training with the ODP when I was through the winter. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't know really. I, I guess I wasn't really mature enough at the time, and I did I didn't really do things the way they were wanting me to do things and stuff. And um, yeah, I didn't really fit in. I don't think. Um, I've, I've grown as a person now, and um, you know it's different. But um, yeah, I thought I, was, I never really understood why. It was, I didn't really take very well, and as a junior, I didn't really. So you didn't have any big results, any? No, as a junior, I didn't. I sort of lost interest with the sport. Really, I just. Yeah. I didn't even, I was still racing. I was still like training, but I just wasn't really like into it. And um, as, as a senior, I decided right, okay, give it a go. Into uh, your tech. Yeah, yeah, heavily. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm keen with that. So, yeah, engineering background. So, with me, it's um, anywhere we can go faster, you know, it's going to be scrutinised and, um, yeah. So, you, you and Dad boards. can speak the same language? Yeah, we, um, we, try, to hold, we try to hold it back a bit. So, <laughs> when friends come round, they're all just like, oh, no, not this again. <laughs> yeah, so, we do, we do have our geeky sessions. Dan, Dan loves a good spreadsheet. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's it's good though because with this, it's it's a perfect environment for um, air testing because you know there's that there's sort of there's so many less unknowns than say on a road race where there's wind and hedges and turns and whatever. So um, yeah, it's great. It's a perfect environment for like making ourselves go faster and um, testing new products. Well, speaking of that, <laughs> yeah, what I'm alluding to is is how has the, the gears that you ride yeah. and the bike that you ride changed? As you've gone faster and faster. So, from last year, um, and just, it's been like minor adjustments. You'd be surprised; like the smallest adjustment doesn't make a big difference. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's it's um, it's it's been sort of fine tuning over the past year or so, like, in, and also building the engine as well, um, getting more adapted to the ride in the IP instead of being a road racer. Um, so it's yeah, it's it's good. I, 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 when I was at Derby at the training session when you were when you were AWOL with GB, um, <laughs> I think Harry was putting on 116. And oh, he, he loves his, he loves the churn. And he reckons that Belarus he was riding bigger. Yeah, no, I think he was on 118 or 120 <laughs> or something stupid like that. But he's man four, so he gets away with it. Yeah. Um, so you're not doing that in the IP. <laughs> no, no, I think I was on 114 for the final. Um, but I wasn't really fresh, so it felt a bit heavy. Um, yeah, Harry's, you know, he's he's newer to it than me, so yeah. for him, spinning the gears is is really hard. Um, but as a trade-off, it means he has to get off the line. <laughs> so um, yeah. well, we've seen the banter between you two on uh, on Twitter. <laughs> some classic, some classic stuff there. What would it mean to you two to make the final? Um, uh, yeah, no, it's it's great that. Um, It'd be, it'd be great to share the podium with Harry. Um, this is a, so it, there is some rivalry, yeah. if you want. To <laughs> Everybody does say that, yeah. Um, I mean, Harry's I, obviously I know him. I know him in, in and out, and um, I do train with him a lot. So we are, we are competitive as brothers. Um, but at the end of the day, I just see him as another competitor to beat, really. So um, yeah, just sort of treat him as the same as everyone else. And obviously, he's going to go quite fast actually this weekend. So. Yeah, you'll be, uh, be flying. Get on the How party. are you adapting to the interest? Because the BBC have taken a big interest in you. I see, yeah, see yeah. your name all over the BBC at the moment. Yeah, no, it's um, yeah, it's, it's it's a bit weird, really. I um, did an interview the other day, first time in a studio. It's, yeah. um, and it was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so I guess to see how that goes. They're keen to follow the story of K. Jeff as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be, uh, it'd be cool to see 
see what happens in the future with that. Well, speaking of the future, as you yeah, did, yeah. Um, finally, road season is yeah. about to kick off. True. Harry's just said that his last training session was last week with yeah. you guys. You've obviously got the worlds to look forward to, so you've still got a bit of track work to do. Yeah. With the road season. Yeah, no, it is in the back of the mom, back of my mind actually. Um, I've been making good progress at the road year after year, so um, I think last year I was, you know, there thereabouts in the prems, and um, after well, I've got worlds and then commies, so yeah. it's going to be quite late for me to get into the road racing. But you're um, going to come into the tour series, perhaps. I don't know whether or not your team will ride it because you're running for. You're running yeah, for um, no, I'm riding for um, Canyon Iceberg. Well, you're this year. For Canyon Iceberg. <laughs> you joined Harry with, yeah, yeah. with Canyon Iceberg. So the tour series rounds, you could be riding off the back of some Commonwealth Games for. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It'd be straight into. I well, guess. you have got a very strong team that you've just joined. Yeah. No. Um, I mean, uh, crits. Crits are great, and I do love crits. Um, so you know, I, I do have my own individual goals as well. So um, I'll be, I'll be doing the crits, and then. Um, crits or road races? Uh, crits, road races, and then time trials as well. So. Ah. Yeah. Um, you want to you want to challenge Dan for his supremacy in the time trial? Yeah. <laughs> well. Take the ten off him or whatever. Maybe not CTT. I'll let him have that one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the British time trial champ. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's my last year under 23, so. Right. Got to make the most of it. Yeah. And uh, where did you how did you fare last year? Um, well, last year f um, it was quite hilly course. It didn't really suit me that well. Quite a hilly course. Yeah. <laughs> I managed to get third. I was I was so close to getting second. Um, I was, to be honest, I was disappointed. I thought I could do better. Um, so well, the this guy that won that, not far ahead of you. Oh, Scott. I mean Scott Davies. No, he was quite far ahead. Well, he's, he's gone well too, now. He was next level. He was yeah. He was a bit of a beast. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll see what the cost is like. You know, you never know what it's going to be like. And um, if it's suiting towards me, then it, well, anyway, either way, I'll I'll be I'll be going for it. So. Um, yeah, that's that's one that's one of the goals. Do you have ambitions of going to the level that Scott's going to? Oh yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, at the moment, I just want to see how far I can take this track. Um, you know, there's some big races coming up, so there's that's the, ma the main focus. And then, who knows what what the future could hold? Well, one thing that I've got to ask, because I just you just sparked a, a thought in the memory that I just mm. read, our record. Yeah, yeah. Now, that was mentioned. The, I mentioned. I read that this morning. I think on. Uh, one of the BBC. Yeah. Is that actually something that you're thinking about? Um, well, it's actually, funnily fun enough. Hard ride, oh, it? it is. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about it last year, actually. Just you know, just to give it a go, uh, not to you know beat records or whatever, but just you know to see how far I could push my body and see how far I could get. Yeah. It's a bit of a um, you know a bit of a, of a test, then. a test sort of thing. Um, so I was thinking. Possibly this year, I might just give it, give like an under 23 hour record a go, and then. Uh, maybe in the future, if I'm fully like you know road adapted, yeah. then give it a go p for real. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's 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 one that I definitely want. I'm gonna do it at some point. I'll give it a go at some point. You've certainly got guys on on your team yourself. Um, mm. The experience. I mean, they're the already talking about Mexico. They they yeah. seem to be able to work out the data as to where you'd be quickest. And yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, if we go to altitude, it's ridiculously fast. You know, there's just such low air density there. Yeah. Trade-off is though, you know, there's hardly any oxygen there, so you're not really, yeah, you know, through, yeah, yeah you, you're going to be breathing pretty hard. Yeah. Um, but it still comes out faster. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know whether what it is. You don't see many people doing our attempts at altitude, probably because you don't get the publicity up there. I don't know. So yeah, we'll see how it goes anyway. So onwards today for the IP and then Sunday for the TP, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Today IP, focus on the IP. Yeah. Kilo, kilo on Saturday, TP on Sunday. Oh, you go for the kilo. As well. <laughs> yeah. Just banter, you just, know. Just, I was going to say, just, just taking, putting it to Johnny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, he needs to be scared. I mean, my opening lap. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I just thought I'd do it just because it's a good indicator of you know if you do a good IP, a good kilo, then it shows that you're more than just uh, more than just good at the IP and. You can pro pro probably do a good well, kilo, uh, good TP. Taylor Finney, winning yeah, yeah, yeah. world title in the kilo. Did he? Yes. Big so, um, hitter. It was a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's now obviously been around on the road for a long time. He has, he has. I, d I didn't realise that. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know about winning uh, world champs, <laughs> but <laughs> okay, you know, I'll give it a go tomorrow and um, hopefully I'll get a new PB.
So what do you should Sub on S4. Uh, 103, 103 point something. I, I want to go sub 103.5. Yeah. Yeah, it's average, but... You're not, you're not trying to go out at the minute, just check. <laughs> just, just get around, really. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good luck. Good luck on the weekend. Thanks, Larry. Cheers, Charlie. All right, thank you.